Welcome to It Starts With Courage podcast with Kat and Jen. What is it? It's everything. Everything you want in life starts with courage. Fifty-six. Isn't that crazy? Ah, you just keep rolling on. Oh, and guess who made it to over one thousand followers on Instagram? That would be me. Let, <laughs> wait, <laughs> let the crowd say it starts with courage. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is that I know milestone. you're excited, but like to me, like you know how I am. I'm I like, know. this has been a long time to get to a thousand people. That's like fifty people a month, isn't it? Yeah, or something like that. I don't know. My math is bad, so I'm not even gonna go there. And anyone who just did the calculations, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. <laughs> What's we're going on, Jen? Instant success. We're instant. Exactly. Yeah. Boom, 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 baby. Here we go. But you have to put the grind in and then things will... Oh, the grind. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yes. Tell me. Okay. I have a topic for us today. Okay. Uh, okay. I want to talk about personal energy. Mm-hmm. And I've kind of like, kind of have been feeling this in my world, just different scenarios in life and... um. Like I was t- telling you earlier, like I have a friend of mine that I've reached out to several times, mm-hmm. no response. I kind of unlike them. Um, not to respond and just. Not to respond, but mm. just like not return texts, not return calls, like, you know, just different things. And one day they finally did reach out about something and I just kind of, kind of called them out on it. Right. And they yeah. were like, oh yeah, you missed me. I'm like, well, yeah, I do. Like. I do miss you, and, uh, you know, I don't like it when I text you and call you and you don't respond, like, you know, and um, so, like, a day or two later, they called, and um, they were going through a separation, and, you know, I was like, man, like, that just sucks. Yeah. And it starts, it started feeling like, not just in that one friendship, but just in different scenarios. Um, just like I've realized that everybody is going through things mm-hmm. and we all have this personal energy that we emit. Emit. And like, you know, when I see you, you're always outgoing and bubbly <laughs> and happy. I don't think I've ever seen you like just down about something. Even when, you know, we talk about things that aren't going right Mm -hmm. in life, like you've still got this great energy. And I think like. Fake it till you make it. (laughs) I think sometimes like we have conversations with people or interactions with people that might be hard or, um, you know, and then over the next couple of weeks, we. We may feel like, man, like I'm getting a different vibe from them. Mm. I'm getting a different energy from them. And it's easy. It's so easy to take that personally. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh my God, they're mad at me or they don't like me or whatever. But really it's that they're internalizing a lot of stuff that they're going through Mm. and that has nothing to do with you. Isn't it funny how... humans we tend to make things about ourselves it's very rare i think it's the japanese way of raising kids that there's a specific name for it where instead of like chastising their kids like don't be bad don't do this and don't do that they always ask how do you think this affects this person so they're taught to consider the other person and what they may be going through or how what you do and say could affect them. And you're so right in that uh, for us, whenever somebody gives you an attitude, um, and, you know, I always think about this. You know my thing with the drive through I hate, I, <laughs> I hate bad customer service. Yeah. Hate it. Like, in terms of in-store, in a restaurant, it's the one thing I detest because I'm just like, why? Why? 
Right. This you is know? your job. You're here. But at, oh, in that same token, wow, that's a, that is exactly what I think. This is your job. You're here. We never consider, and I suppose it's because you're not supposed to bring your, you know, this is your work environment. You're not supposed to bring, bring your personal life. Yeah, but we're humans, you know. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you've just had something terrible happen before you leave the house, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect that personal energy, as you said, that you yeah. emit and that people receive. And I often have to catch myself when I start to get really angry. Um, and I don't get angry about many things, but that's just the one thing that just rubs me the wrong that's way. Your button. Because I'm like, it's so unnecessary. I go through tough times all the time, but I don't put it out on other people, but that's just me. That's not everyone. Everyone can't cope that way. Um, but as I was saying, I often think about what, what is it that they're going through? Um, the other day I went to, uh, <laughs> while I was at meal prep, there's this place called Muya Burgers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love them. And to the point where I'm one of those people that orders a burger and I watch you cook it just to make sure everything is going to be fresh, just to make sure. <laughs> Psycho. Yep, <Yeah>, low-key. <laughs> <laughs> and the manager, you could tell this was the manager and it just seemed like everything had been going wrong for them the entire day. They had like an oil spill going on somewhere. Orders were going wrong. And I remember just, and she got a phone call that she had to take while she was on the floor and it just wasn't great things coming from the other end of the phone. And then she came to give me, my food. And I said, you know, I can see you're going through a really tough time right now. And I just feel like I should give you a hug. So I gave her a hug. If he hears this, <laughs> <laughs> I just gave her a hug. And I was like, you're doing an amazing job. You're here and you're taking care of the place. I can't imagine what kind of a day you've had, but I just want to say like, you're doing really well. And Thank you for, you know, wanting to still give great customer service despite what's going on. And she gave me a hug for the longest time. I thought it was going to be a 30 second thing, <laughs> but this was a long hug where you can just. She needed that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean that personal energy thing and now I've taken over your story, but. <laughs> no, no, I, I think you're, you're right on track. I mean, I think it goes into like what you're right. What you're saying mm. of. Also, the being a good friend, mm. like oh, don't talk like about that. The the personal energy of like knowing people so well mm. to know that something is off, like yeah. And I, I know, like my mom, like if I call my mom, and however I say hello, like mm -hmm. she can tell, like what's wrong something's wrong. I did or, that with my yeah. brother. Yes. I was going to say, you yeah. probably did that with your siblings or like with, with Bailey. Mm -hmm. Like I can turn around and look her, look at her. Yep. And I can tell like something, like something's wrong. Like yep. she didn't have to say anything. She doesn't, she can just be sitting there, but I can just, I can just tell. Right. Like, yeah. but I think we've, it goes into like just kind of a awareness of your personal energy, like mm. kind of thinking about, what kind of energy do you give off, give off? Like, would your friends, um, what would your friends say about your energy? Like, I know what I said about yours. I know me personally, like I'm not a, like a rah, rah person. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of more reserved and quiet. And yeah. so people would probably say like, it's probably a little harder to, to tell with me like, just because I'm a little bit more reserved anyway, an introvert. Um, I feel like I can tell with your answers um, how you're feeling. And then it makes it easy to know when you really like something or when you're happy about something. <laughs> oh, well, okay. But I, I think like that's all I'm getting at is kind of realizing your personal energy. Like mm -hmm. what is the energy you're putting off to people? Are you, are you going through things and you're trying to hide it from others? I think that's, that's, that would be me. Um, just based off of what you've said as well. And this is what other people always say that, you know, it was interesting. You said, even when you're telling a bad story, your energy is still high. Um, and I don't know if there's just like a coping mechanism. It's very rare that you find me 
stressing or looking down or something bad could be happening. But for some reason, <laughs> I'm always positive about it and I don't know why, which is hard for people to know when I am actually stressed and when I do actually need help. Yes. And that makes it difficult. Um, as I was saying earlier, when we spoke, when we we're talking about topics, you know, the fact that you're, you're reaching out to a friend, they weren't replying as normal. Right now, I've been struggling with that. I know I mentioned something a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about during competition prep, but I feel like I've been a bad friend um, and even a bad sibling because I, over the last few months, I've taken on so much, so much in terms of at work, career, and then just things I'm trying to do business-wise have just consumed me. And I haven't carved out the time to have to, you know, to nurture my relationships with my friends and to, and I know I see these messages. I have a separate phone for like my WhatsApp and I see these messages, but right now I'm so anxious about opening these messages because I know how much I've missed. I know there are things that they're probably saying, well, oh, you know, and I, I don't know. Yeah. So I'd like, and I don't feel though that I give off that energy that says, Hey, I'm not, not that I'm not coping, but I just have so much going on that I know I can't be a great friend right now. Even taking, having those conversations that we normally have is just, but you know, it goes back to that that phrase, um, mm. no answer is an answer. See, and that's the thing, because I'm yeah. like, I know they may see me post and they probably think, oh, yes. so you are alive and you look happy and you're ignoring me. You are, but you are. No. Like, I'm not letting you off the hook on that one, Kat. You are. You are, like, at the end of the day, everything is important. All the mm. things that you said is important, the job the business, all of those things. Mm. But at the end of the day, if you quit your job, they would hire somebody else within days. This is true. If your business went away, like it's there's, <laughs> it's, there's thousands more fitness people there, but like, yeah. these are the people that know, love and trust you and yeah. they care about you. So, you know, as much as we talk about prioritizing things, I mean, they are, by not answering, you are answering. No answer is an answer. You have been, like, not wanting to to look at those messages because the anxiety that you have yes. about that. But, like, you need to. And you need, and really, if they're really your good friends. You're so right that it hurts. They are going to be like, we missed you. Thank you for responding. They're yeah. not going to be like. And I know they will be like that. I know. Yeah. But they just care about you. That's why they're reaching out. You should, how would you, it would be worse if you had no messages. That's true. Oh, Jan, okay, let's end the podcast so I can talk to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, um, you know, we, we had talked about the energy and then I loved your story about the lady at Muya and mm -hmm. like giving her a hug. And I think like to, to wrap that all together is that, you know, when you are, are receive if, if you have a friendship or a relationship where you are getting, um, a, a different energy, maybe not a negative energy from them, not what you normally get instead of that first reaction of, um, man, they, like, like something's wrong with between us, maybe think of it differently and just think like, what, I wonder what they're going through. And mm -hmm. instead of being like, what's wrong? Like, but just be like, Hey, I can tell your energy is different and you may be going through something that you don't want to talk about, but you know, I'm here for you. Yeah. If, you, if you'd like to talk about it. Um, cause some people Aww. don't want to talk about it, but they, they, they want they you to, to recognize know. they, they need to know that they have somebody that if, if, and when they're ready, they can go to. Yeah. And, I think it's um, it shows how much you care if you can pick up on the Jeez. change in energy and without them having to be like, man, I'm going through a lot right now. Yeah. Oh, so. that you've this is like a convicting podcast. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're like me, friends, and you've been. <sighs> 
and now I have to use the word avoiding. Yeah. Because after my competition, there is no excuse. I mean, things are still busy, but. Okay. So we're <sighs> going to record a couple episodes today. Yeah. But the next time we meet, I'm going to like ask you about this. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Peace. Thanks for listening to this episode of It Starts With Courage podcast with Kat and Jen. If you like this episode of the podcast, visit our website, iswcpodcast.com for show notes and other cool things.